Hello and welcome back everyone, my name is Seth and today we're going to be working on how to make a Discord bot part 13. In this episode I'm just going to be showing you guys a quick change in our admin pay command as well as a few of the new changes in Discord.js version 12. Check this. As always, if you're having any issues with your code, make sure you join my Discord server. I am happy to help anyone who needs it. And uh, if you enjoy this video, make sure you smash the like button. It helps out my channel a lot. Getting started, we need to add one line of code to our admin pay command as there is a serious problem with this command at the moment. Right now, anybody can give anyone they want an unlimited amount of money, and that's an issue. We only want the bot creator to be able to use that, us. So we're going to go ahead and add an if statement if message.author.id does not equal, and we're going to go here. Let's head on over to our Discord. Find your name right click it and click copy id if you do not see copy id head on over to this little gear right here go to appearance scroll all the way down and turn on developer mode once you see that go ahead and right click copy id then let's head on back to our code paste it in there and that's all we need other than we just going to go ahead and return it if this comes back true Next on our agenda is taking a look at the dot delete method. And as you can see in version 11, the previous version of discord.js, this is what we did for uh, deleting a message. And uh, the new method is a bit different. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Version 12, it is now dot delete. And then in here we need curly brackets, timeout, and then our amount in milliseconds. So it's gonna be 300 milliseconds. Um, so it's no longer just the milliseconds. We need to specify timeout. And uh, yeah, so that's the change for that. And we're going to go ahead and apply that in our clear.js command because we did use that in our bot. So we're going to go ahead and go in here, delete the 300, add in curly brackets, do timeout, and then 300. And that's all there is to that. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next change in discord.js version 12. Last but not least, I'm going to show you guys a change to the embed system. In the previous version of Discord.js, it was Discord.rich embed. They have now changed it over to Discord.message embed. So go ahead and make that change to any embeds you may have used previously in your code. I know we haven't used any in this tutorial yet, and I apologize for that. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a quick example of an embed in Discord.js. So we're going to go ahead and paste this in right here. And these are just a bunch of different fields that you can have on an embed. So we declare our embed with this. I'm going to go ahead and just comment this out for now. And uh, so we can declare our embed, let embed equal new discord.message embed. We can then do embed.setTitle, and we can, I'm just going to set it to title, and embed.setDescription. Description goes here. And then embed.addField, you got to need to remember that in add fields, it has two fields. So we have field one, comma, field two. Then we have set images, and I'll show you guys in a second the difference between an image and a thumbnail, but you can set your image and you can set your thumbnail, and then you can also set a footer. And there are a few other ones that you can do, like set author and some other stuff. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, go to the discord.js docs and uh, learn that if you like, but for now I'm just going to show you guys these. So we're going to go ahead and make sure it's saved and then reload our bot here. We're going to head on over to our Discord, and I'm going to go and use example. And actually, I have an error. So as you can see, the reason we have an error is Discord is not defined. So all we need to do is go ahead and go up to the top and add the discord.js package. Once we have that, we can head on back to Discord. After, actually, let's go ahead and run our bot real quick. Sorry about that. Once our bot is online, we can head back to Discord and try example one more time. Example. And you'll see we have our title. We have our um, image right here. I know this is an image right here. This is a thumbnail. And then we have description and our ad field, which has the title for our ad field. And then our field two, which has like our content for it. And then at the very bottom, you'll see here in tiny little text, we have a footer. So those are some of the basic um, things for an embed. And actually, I just realized there's a really important one I need to show you guys. So let's head on back to the code real quick. And uh, right here, we're going to go ahead and do embed.setColor. 
and we're gonna set this to um, I usually have a colors file do we have that in here we do so we have a colors file let's go ahead and add that to the top of our code real quick so we're gonna go constant colors equals require and we're gonna do um, dot dot slash colors dot JSON okay that should access our colors file now in here we can do um, colors dot red I think we have a red in there let's check we do we have a red in there so let's go ahead and save this let's go ahead and rerun it and then head back to our discord and do you example and now you'll see this little bar along the edge is red so that's how you can set the color for an embed um, and that's pretty much all I got for this video guys I hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you smash that thumbs up button down below it really helps out my channel and I appreciate it a lot remember if you need help with your code join my discord server I'd be glad to help you out uh, yeah thanks for watching guys Thank you.